Mary. Mary. What is it? Have you got a headache? Oh, there's a loaded question. Have I ever heard one? <laughs> oh, seriously, I've got a headache. Well, come to think of it, I had one earlier, and it's coming back. Soon as you started talking, eerie that, isn't it? Listen, there's something wrong here. Shh, you're going to wake in the wain. Granny? Satisfied? <laughs> I can't see anything. I'm telling you, I've got a pain. Well, if you keep putting things through it, it's not going to help, is it? You told me to get rings. Aye, but there are limits. Honest to God, you could hang a pair of living room curtains down there. I'm serious. I know what's happening here. It's that thing outside. Lurking in the darkness. Ever since it came here, it's been weaving its horrible magic or the unsuspecting shucks of govern. Don't speak like that. You make me scared. You're not the only one. It worries me too. So I see. It's gone all shy. <laughs> the rings look like hula hoops now. <laughs> This is sweetheart. I want my daddy. Oh, don't you worry, sweetheart. Your daddy's in the hospital for his mental checkup. Yeah. <laughs> He's up there slumped in a chair right now, listening to any of tapes, you know. <laughs> Listen, can we help you? I've got a headache. See? Elaine's got a headache. I've got a headache. You want to revise your opinion? Do you come to mention it? That mobile phone mass has got to go. It could have a serious effect on govern reproduction. We could start breeding mutants. Oh, aye. Yeah. How would we tell? <laughs> you can't argue with facts. The day after that mast went up, I fell down unconscious in the street. And what happened the day before the mast went up? I fell down unconscious in the street. <laughs> All right, the ten pints of Bex might have been a factor. There you are, you see. If you want to be targeting anybody, you should be targeting the brewery, shouldn't you? The biggest employer in government is the Southern General Hospital. I have a liver on me like a burst of tea to this day, <laughs> thanks to the likes of this and our baby. Oh, aye. It was shameful the way we'd tie you down and pour it down your throats. Well, if I can ever return the compliment. <laughs> Listen, the fact of the matter is, we're in the dark. We don't know whether these mobile phone masks are doing us in or they're no. Hold that result. There's hard evidence. Big Nicky here's on Twitter. I love Twitter. It's a lovely outpouring of joyous random voices. You heard joyous random voices before. The doctor said you were schizoid. But it. I'll read you the tweet and make no comment. Oh, the tweet, the tweet. Good. God, I thought we had reached rock bottom when we started saying poo for shite. <laughs> Here goes. <clears throat> My wife and I both tamed sore nappers last night. We think we have radiation sickness on account of the new mobile phone masked up govern. See? P.S. Which is the best shampoo? Timotei or the Pantene Tune Man? Tell them not to worry, because if they get radiation sickness, they'll be bald anyway. So <laughs> shampoo, I'll be a fond and frothy memory. Hell, <laughs> well. That's not a point, Rap. This thing's spreading. Your health could be getting endangered as we speak. Oh, I'm away for a fag. <laughs> James is right. We don't know what we're up against. Let us keep a sense of perspective here. I mean, so far, it's only warty old hounds like us that's been affected. And let's face it, climbing out the bath without grunting is a triumph of the human spirit by the likes of us. At our time of life, we don't know, we don't know which disease and which lard-inflicted wear and tear. Once it starts affecting the young folk, well, then we'll have a steer. Oh, you? I want to work with you. Mm -hmm. 
Who are you looking for cookery advice? <laughs> Pace your ass lying a tray and simmer yourself gently for 20 minutes. <laughs> These hats might look stupid, but they're deflecting the toxic rays. No, for where I'm sitting. You could split an atom with that pursed up wee gub of yours. What's in your mind? My peachy's done a sleepover with yous, and you never once let on there was a new mobile math thing govern. That's a responsible parenting. I'm the grandparent, you're the parent. Where the hell were you? I was called away in urgent bingo business, but that's not the point. That went to the headache all weekend. You've let her do. We all had headaches, Mammy. That doesn't prove anything. Honey, I think your wee brain's mince already. If everybody's got a headache, there must be something wrong. Stands to reason, doesn't it? So unless we get to the bottom of this, Peaches has done her last sleepover in Govan. She'll never set foot in your house again. Moan, honey. Brady! I'm sorry, Grandpa. I miss you. Smooth. Oh, nice perfume. <coughs> Chanel or... Ah, Stocubinor. Neither. It's penicillin by Alexander Fleming. Makes me immune to pricks like you. <laughs> oh, nay, luck, Rab. Can I get you in? A baker foil helmet. This is war. <laughs> See, that's the trouble with radiation, isn't it? It's a fly bastard. I mean, even shaky wee Neds have the decency to ask you for your mobile phone before they stab you in the vitals with their Japanese ornamental swords, you know? <laughs> that's the etiquette. The etiquette of villainy, you know? Well, radiation's sleeker. Just slips a wee tumour into your coat pocket. Next thing you know, your body's crumpling around you. It's like a... Like a rubber woman at a fetish party. <laughs> You're not getting through yet. Give me the phone. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is him. Yeah. Hello? This message is voice sensitive. Please speak clearly. Do you wish to speak to a go phone representative? I, I did. I'm sorry. I didn't understand that. Are you experiencing a problem with go phone reception? No, I'm not. For God's sake, talk posh. Shh. Which service do you require? Uh, someone that gives me some bastard to shoot at. <laughs> Bloody phone. To speak to a representative, press two. Hello, go phone customer service. Kevin speaking. How can I help you? Hold on a minute, please. My man wants to get towed right into you. <laughs> this is it. If we want to see peaches again, then it is down to us. So you are on, Obama. Let the wondrous wings of your full-flowing oratory take flight. <coughs> Hello. Yes, I, uh, I have a complaint, and I would like to speak to the heed dick. <laughs> or if it's a woman, the heed fanny. <laughs> Open your eggshells with this PC carry on. <laughs> That's an impressive petition, Mr Nesbitt. Oh, yes. The elite of government have put their name in that list. <laughs> Isn't that right, Team Scum? Aye. Aye. And you're concerned about the safety aspects relating to our new base station in the Govan catchment zone, am I right? That is correct. Oh, that's enough talking. I'm just game a dunt with the heat and we'll get back to the <laughs> pub. No, 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 Jamesy, Jamesy, come on now. Those days are gone. <laughs> As, uh, as my colleague hints, I used not to be averse to negotiating by ramming my toe cap up the odd pumper. No. <laughs> in past eras, you'd have been hauled across this desk and man raped until common sense prevailed. <laughs> but in them days, I had a drink in me. Lucky for you, I am now a reconstructed pish free zone. Well, that's good to hear. Because we at GoPhones pride ourselves on being customer sensitive. Now, tell me, what are your concerns in relation to our base station? Well... By the way, you don't mind if I tape this conversation for quality control purposes? I do, actually. I may have a sudden attack of spluttering incoherence, and I don't want to end up as an outtake in the, in the GoPhones Christmas party laughing. 
It's just a formality. What seems to be the problem? Well, stay raising that. Tell him, Rob. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, 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 am I getting the talking here, or are you? They're raising that. Radio frequencies, RF emissions. Aye, aye, it's the reason, and, and uh, I mean, I'll keep the science to a minimum, but, well, they, they, they shook in, don't they? Shook in? Aye, and then they boot her into the bodies of unsuspecting pillars. Boot her the bodies? To wit, a scum. Aye, next thing you know, everybody's cutting about governing a bobble hat with an energy drink in their pocket. Heading up the chemo unit, am I right? Aye, aye, aye. aye, aye. aye. Unfortunately, statistics clearly show that long before go phones arrived, the incidence of cancer in this area was abnormally high, well above the national average. All oh, right, all oh, right. We know we're all grunters, but I mean, there's no need to make a bad situation worse, is there? Go phones hear your concerns. That's why we're bringing in someone to put your mind completely at rest. This is Mr. Khan from our Technical Research and Development Department. Hi there. I'm here to walk you through a few facts and figures and to correlate some data concerning new wave communication technology. How does uh, that sound for you? I'm still here. I'll keep up. The floor's yours. Standing. Well, to supply coverage, the national phone companies have divided the nation into cells. There's three types of cells. There's macrocells, microcells and picocells. And then, of course, there's the govern type. Go on your cells. That's <laughs> <laughs> very... Well, the rate at which radiation is absorbed by the human body is measured by SAR. That's the specific absorption rate. Uh, in Europe, the absorption limit is uh, 2 watts per kilogram, averaged over 10 grams of human tissue. Now, the GMS is a European global system of mobile If fronting the campaign is too much for you, then just say so. Oh. I was in my depths, man. I was in my depths. I felt like an ass. That's never stopped you in the past. Oh, I've had a drink in me in the past. At least I was a confident ass. Push, push, not, not stick that, remember? Mm, well, as my mother used to say, there is nothing worth losing your good health over. Aye, it's all the wonder the original thinker, your mother. <laughs> oh, that's Ella. They're wondering where we've got to. Uh, I'm no up to it, Mary. Right. I'll just go ahead and stall them. You stay here and sort yourself out. Try and get in touch with your inner arse. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, well. I'd just like to fill you in on the meeting I had with Mr Taplow. I never mind that. Just tell us how much. How much? What do you mean, how much? The compensation, Rab. Let's cut to the chase. There isn't any chase. We're no one for the money. <laughs> <laughs> Good you, Rab. Straight face and everything. Uh, I'm serious. This is, this is a health issue. This is about empowerment. I'll feel more empowered with 20k in a freezer bag stowed up, Mufflu. <laughs> You've let us down, didn't you? You bottled it, didn't you? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This isn't about Rab. Every one of us has to be involved. We've all got to take personal responsibility. No, me. My social worker takes care of my personal responsibility. <laughs> and if she gets it wrong, I'm going straight to that court of human rights in Orlando. Strasbourg. Aye, but we'll all be hitting Disney World Orlando as soon as the comp ends in, won't we? Yeah. Where the hell are you getting all this comp stuff? For the last time, this is about public health. <laughs> Aye, public health. <laughs> but really, you know, really. Mickey's got a point. I mean, other countries get comp for the sighting of phone masts. Hungary, Romania. Why no here? This is not about money. These base stations are only safe 
We, we are striking a blow for unborn generations here. We thought about the unborn generations. Then we thought, fuck them. We'd sooner see Finding Nemo the musical. But, comrades, if we stick the car, we could have a famous victory. We don't want a famous victory. We want an anonymous defeat with compensation. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is not about Disney World. This is about a principle. Tell them, Ella. Definitely. And if the principal has got a Monsters Inc. laugh floor at the Magic Kingdom Park, so much the better. Am I right? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Rab, but there's a lack of principle at stake here. All those without principles say aye. Aye. I see, yeah. It's like that, is it? It's like that. Is this what we've come to? Are we new beasts of the field? Come on. Hands up, all you who, who want to fight against this base station. Right. Hands up, all the dirty animals who want to take the money. Yes. That's it, eh? Majority wins. I'll ask for compensation. Oh, yeah. Rob, you rolled over and took it up the ass. It's a big man to do that. Respect, monkey boy. Are you still in that computer? Hey, well, you're right. I need all the help I can get for the return bout. Hey, it's a safety issue, no a boxing match. Oh, it is. Listen, they psyched me out the last time. I was beat before I even stepped in the ring. I'm getting some serious training in here for an intellectual square go. They all know they've done 12 rounds of cogent debate when Rab hands of stone Nesbitt's finished with them. It's the heat of stone that I'm worried about. And how's Compen going to win his peaches back? Governor will still be an unsafe area. Think positive. You can use the money to line the wash with tinfoil. You don't mind living on a kinder egg, do you? Oh, you're losing sight of the issue here, Rab. Money is not the point. No, you're bloody right. Winning's the point. Listen, if Compen's all I can get, then Compen is what I will fight for. Are you with me or against me? I'll be in your corner with the dish towel, Rab. Good luck, Rob. Don't be nervous. Talk to the hand. The sphincter's not listening. Here they come. To be ignored, press one. To bow your head, press two. To cancel your mobile phone contract. Raise a finger! I rather hoped we'd put your mind at ease, Mr Nesbitt. Oh, contraire. I've actually been doing a wee bit of research. Oh, dear. Another graduate from the University of Google. Steady, Bambi. I've pummeled geeks like you before now. A little knowledge can be a dangerous thing. I for yous. You see my arse in this chair? Hey. My Archibald represents every buttock cheek in govern. The sweaty cacks of the multitudes repose on this leatherette. <laughs> Behold, these are my mountains, and they are my scum. <laughs> well, I know this isn't the day for sound bites, but, well, I feel the hand of history on your shoulder and the fingers of compensation lifting your pay poke from out your back pocket. <laughs> Come on, what do you say? Compensation for what? We've already demonstrated our base station is harmless. <laughs> no, you didn't, eh? No, no. You battered me with PR shite, which isn't the same thing at all. Come on, we've all read the guff. I can't prove to you that mobile phone masks harm folk. Precisely. But you can't prove they don't. 
Ongoing government research states that the risks remain unproved. Unproved? Not non-existent? Yeah. Do you hear that? <laughs> that's, uh, that's the distance between the two. Are you with me? Compensation. Now, normally, I would conclude the case for the prosecution by well, jumping in your desk and pissing on your inkwells, but well, <laughs> I feel, metaphorically speaking, I've just done that. I'll put your request to head office. Good. You will, uh, you'll find my clients simple people to deal with for 20k apiece. You will be given exclusive rights to give them all brain tumours. <laughs> Not to become effective until the new year, when they're back from Disneyland, pissed off and expecting a dirty big gas bill. <laughs> Any other business? Eh? <laughs> Call me. <laughs> It's uh, nice to see so many happy, smiling faces here tonight. <laughs> As usual, we'll uh, start our counselling session with a hymn. Any suggestions? Sure. How about Nearer My Wallet to Thee? There is a green back far away. <clears throat> Call me hypersensitive, but I'm getting the feeling you're trying to tell me something here. Look at yourself. You started off attacking the phone company for public health reasons. Next thing, you're bending over and they're poking money up your arse with an aerial mast. You must be the oldest rent boy in Govan. It was a majority decision. I was just doing what the people around here wanted. The people around here are just appetites and trainers. They don't value life, because they've never nearly lost it. No, like us. Aye. I used to live in a skip. With nothing to eat but bubble wrap. <laughs> Put sugar on it, kid, on it was Rice Krispies. Aye. I've done that. <laughs> Taking it up the arse for money. I thought you were bigger than that. Will you stop saying that? It wasn't a greed. It was a pride thing. They phone company Torags, they made me feel wee. I felt like that mess of my life. I had to fight back. I had to win. It's coming to a group like this that has made me feel that like People like us can do that. It wasn't about the money. What the hell would I do with money at my age? Hey, it would spoil my cheery disposition. <laughs> now, are you, are you going to pick a hammer? No, you scabby looking bastard that you are. All right, but you're still an arse. I don't know that, him. You start, I'll join in. <laughs> I'm not going to phone, are they? They're just going to make us sweat. Well, it's certainly working in your case. <laughs> it's designed to chip back to 1978 running out of the Yorksters. It's just a wee summer top. I've not had a holiday for yonks. No, since that five-in-a-bed sex romp at Blackpool. Sounds interesting. Oh, you've got brothers. You know what they're like. <laughs> you should have it too. If you don't, well, have to think of a plan B. We could riot in the streets, go on a looting spree. And Govan, there's only the bookies in the cancer show. You want to run about wielding a rude, stumpy pen with a pair of corduroy flares under your arm. You're on your own. They're playing the nerve game, Ram. Hope we'll all jump if that phone rings. I will. We'll show them. We'll show them. Remember what Jimmy Reed said at the Hopper Clyde working, eh? The rat race is for rats. The eyes of the world are upon us. We will conduct ourselves with dignity. We will conduct ourselves with aplomb. Hello. Oh. Oh, I see. But what about the... Hello? Hello? What happened? Lost the signal. <laughs> Me too. Look, no network coverage. Me, you know. Same here. What's going on? 
Jamesy, Andra, Rab, I think you better come and see this. They've moved the mast. On our side of the river. What out of range. I better give it to you straight. You say they moved out of government, right? They said if they paid us money, they'd have to give everybody money, so... There'll be no compensation. Bastards! Go! Ow! What was that for? Well, I need a scapegoat if I had Hammy will gut me! <laughs> no signal. No compen. I really showed the memory. Never mind, Rap. Swings and roundabouts, eh? What do you mean? She nagged me, nagged me to see her granny and grandpa again. I said, all right, but if you end up baldy in hospital getting visited by McFly, don't come running to me. What the hell, Mammy? It's worth the risk. Look, I've had a good innings, but when you gotta go, you gotta go. Am I right? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not downhearted, by the way. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> because, I mean, life is failure, isn't it? Punctuated by strange wee moments of elation. Like the time my mother died, but I won ten pound on a scratch card. <laughs> Maybe things would have been different if I'd had an education, you know? If I'd been enlightened. Then again, I'd probably have had to stab some bastard. Then I'd been stuck into Berlin, you know? where I could have done an open university degree in social science. <laughs> but then again, if I'd wanted to date honours, I would have had to stab some bam in the shower for a longer sentence, you know? <laughs> it's a bloodbath getting an education when you're scum. Well, I think I've solved the riddle of one headache. What do you mean? Well, I found these under the Wayne's pillar. Oh, my God. Sick. You know what, Mary? I'm glad we didn't get that cash. What shall it profit a man if he gain the world and loses his wee fat grandkid? Mm. <laughs> I tell you what, though, it's quite nice on a trainee fat bastard in a family, isn't it? Ah, well, she's got you to thank for that, Rab. Oh, yes. My legacy is secure. <laughs> oh. Good night, Mary. Good night, Rab. Oh! Relax. It's a Mars bar. <laughs> I'm good for that. I've got a headache. That figures. <laughs>